This video helps you answer the question, do I add the milk straight away or do I wait? You've made a mug of coffee, 200 millilitres, and you have 50 millilitres of milk. You want to drink it when the temperature of the coffee and the milk reaches 68 degrees centigrade. Do you wait for two minutes and then add the milk or do you add the milk right at the start? Which method will cool your cup of coffee to 68 degrees centigrade in the shortest time? This experiment shows you which you should do, or rather it attempts to show you. I'm going to start with a cup of coffee at about 90 degrees centigrade and it's up to you to take readings of the time every 30 seconds. You can start almost as soon as I put the hot water in and you must measure the temperature of the coffee. After two minutes have passed, I'm going to add the 50 millilitres of milk and you should carry on timing for a total of four minutes. Right, I'm now going to get the water boiling. This will take a moment or two. And then I've got to add exactly 200 millilitres of um, boiling water to my coffee. And we'll put the thermometer on and put the... Right, we've now got boiling water here. I need to measure exactly 200 millilitres into my mug and we'll start the watch now. Right, now the probe has been placed in the middle of the liquid. So we'll just wait now and uh, it's up to you to take these readings of the temperature every 30 seconds. And I may try for you to put the light on about every 30 seconds. You see, I make the time now since I added the hot water about 36 seconds, but that's up to you. You shall be taking readings of the temperature here and the time from your own timing device. And this one, remember, has not got any milk in it at all yet. But let's get, we're going to come up to the minute. There we are. When it gets to two minutes, I'm going to put the 50 millilitres of milk straight in, which would, of course, immediately drop the temperature of the coffee. We're coming up to 1.5 minutes now. should allow you to read the temperature which I make now about 81.2 and now we're going to approach the important point where I'm going to add my 50 millilitres of milk 46 I make it 7 8 9 50 and if you started when I did then you should be ready to notice the milk going in about now as you'll see, there's a sudden drop in temperature. It's gone down now to, mm, well, we're coming up towards the 2.5 minute. Fairly shortly. It's about around now, though it depends on your own timing. So we're now down at 67.1, about. Notice I'm not stirring the coffee. about three minutes there. We'll carry on for another minute. You see, we've now got a temperature of 66.4. So we've passed our 68 degree required temperature.
coming up now to 2.5 minutes, sorry, 3.5 minutes. And about 66. And this is the final 30 seconds because we are going to stop the timing of this experiment at four minutes. And then we're going to repeat it, but the second time we're going to put the milk in at the start. So we're coming up to the end of our first experiment. Now I make that four minutes now, and it's 65.5, but you should take your own readings. Right, we are now ready to do the second half of the experiment. I will just heat the water again. And this time I'm going to add the milk first. So the milk is already there. Just check that it's boiling again. It is. Right, I now need my 200 millilitres of, of boiling water. And everything else is the same. We'll add the water now. And we'll start the clock. And again, I want you to take the temperature reading every 30 seconds. So as before, I will try and turn the light on when we reach the first 30 seconds. Now, of course, although the water was boiling, it had dropped a little bit by the time I got it into the mug, but the temperature was much lower to start with and here's the 30 seconds 28 29 30 because of course the cold milk was already there so we're starting around the 70s aren't we this time rather than the high 80s 45 46 temperature this time will be going down but not quite so quickly as it did in the first experiment 56 58 59 one minute past there just about 72 and a bit and we'll take the full four minutes again and as before, the probe is in the centre of the mug. I've tried to repeat the base conditions exactly the same as the first time. 28, 29, 30. About 71 degrees I make it. Forty-five seconds, one minute forty-five, forty-six. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 57, 58, 59, two minutes. Now that was the point I added the milk in the first part of the experiment. So now both our first experiment and this one had milk in them. We've got to 2 minutes 21, 22, 23 and so on, so. 227, 28, 29, 2.30. So we're over halfway through the second experiment. Fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. That's three minutes now at about just under sixty eight. If you repeat this yourselves, you can probably get more than one person taking readings, so it should be a lot more accurate but do try and represent the results 
correctly. In other words, repeat them in exactly the same way as you did the first time. That was just three and a half minutes. This is the last half minute, so we're getting to three minutes 40. So 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, four minutes. And that is the end of the readings. So I'm going to stop my timing device now the temperature will go on down of course right now we've tried to repeat everything in the same way as we did before taking temperature readings every 30 seconds now i have actually got a set of readings that i took off camera earlier and we'll discuss those now that you have hopefully made your two sets of readings you can compare my results with the ones that you got. Now, I haven't been able to write down the results while I've been taking the video. So you will have to look at your own results for that, but we will now just pause a moment and then we'll look at my set of results. Right, these are my results that I took off camera. Now let's look at the top table first. The first column is when I added the milk after two minutes. Now the blue numbers represent just the coffee cooling down and at two minutes you can see there's a sharp drop when I added the milk. And you can see that at that point the temperature dropped immediately below my 68 degrees that I was after for drinking. The second column represents one where I added the milk at the start. And you see it doesn't fall below 68 until about three and a half minutes into the cooling. So red numbers represent milk in the coffee. The blue numbers represent no milk. Now I thought, well, I'll try adding it after one minute and the second table is after one minute. And you see after one minute, when I added the milk, red numbers, the temperature was still just above the 68 limit, as it were. But at two minutes, it had fallen again, just below the 68 degree mark. Well, what does it prove? Well, it's hardly conclusive, but it seems as long as you add the milk after a minute or so, the temperature does indeed drop to our required 68 more rapidly than if you add the milk at the very start. But what if we'd chosen a different drinking temperature? And do your results that you took support this conclusion? I think the only thing to do is for you to repeat the experiment and let me know if you're sure one way or the other.